Hi guys, so in this short video I'm going to explain to you the concept of binary search algorithm in Java. So this is a very important algorithm because you might meet it in an interview as a software engineer, as a software developer, as a Java developer. So you might meet this interview. So it's better you have some knowledge of how this algorithm work and also how to implement it in Java or Python, whatever language you think of is com you are comfortable with. So basically the first thing you must know is that you need to have this array sorted. So if you if it's not sorted, then you can't perform binary search. So it's gonna be two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, okay? And in Java, this is how to do it. You simply call the array, so sort function and pass in the argument. Okay, so how does it work? The first thing you want to do is to start from the left and the right. So you're gonna put a pointer here, left and right, and put a midpoint and select a middle pointer as well. So in this case, you are going to say left, start from zero and right, start from the length of the array, which is a dot length, okay? So once you have this, then you can now have your midpoint to be left plus right, divided by two. So what do we want to do with the midpoint? We want to check if what is in the midpoint, in this case, six over two, because six, one, two, three, four, five, six over two is three. So we want to check what is here. Is it equivalent to two? No. What it means is that where this key should be, should be the lower part of the array. However, if the reverse is the case, meaning that this key is greater than what is in the midpoint, then we are going to move to this part of the array to check here. So there are two ways to solve this problem. It's going to be either recursive or iterative. So in this case, we are going to now shift our left pointer from here to here and then repeat the same process here while the left and the right pointer are not the same, okay? So let's solve it. I will explain it a little bit more as I'm solving it, uh, solving it here in Java and it's going to be uh, quite light. So you're gonna use two methods. We're gonna start with the first method. It's gonna be a recursive method. The recursive method is quite intuitive and actually easier to understand than the iterative one. So let's write a function. So I'm going to create a public function, public static. Uh, it's gonna return true. So it's gonna be Boolean. Uh, and then I'm going to call it BS1. So binary search one is going to be the, rec the, rec uh, the recursive one. So you're going to take an array, an integer array, so it's going to call it ARR, and it's going to take left, it's going to be int left. Actually, the first thing it's going to take is a key, then int left and int right, okay? So this is the argument or the parameters to this function. So if for any reason the left is greater than the right, so if left is greater than right, quit does not make sense, then we are going to simply return false because it means the element is not there. So if left for any reason is greater than the right, it means that there is nothing to search. Simply return false because the key is not there. All right? Okay, so this is the first part. So the next part we want to now do, we want to check the midpoint. So we want to say midpoint and midpoint. We want to calculate the midpoint, which is going to be left plus right divided by two. As I told you, you're going to calculate the midpoint. And what do you do with this midpoint? We want to check if the midpoint item is a midpoint item is the key you are looking for. So I'm going to say if this item is the key I'm looking for. So if the item at the midpoint is a key I'm looking for by this, like this. Then we found that you simply return true, okay? So at this point, else, so it's gonna be else if, if the item we are looking for is less than the midpoint. So in this case, we are going to the lower part of the array. So if the item we are looking for, the key is less than the midpoint, uh, element at the midpoint, then it means that we are going to go to the left side of the array, which is in this diagram, which is this side of the array, okay? Okay, so we are going to now call the, record, the, the function again, but this time we are going to adjust 
the right pointer uh, downwards. So I'm going to say return. I'm going to say return. And what are we going to return? We are going to call the same function because this is recursive this time. So BS1 giving it the array and this time, so giving it the key as well. But this time the left will remain the same, but the right is now going to shift downwards. So you're going to be now mid minus one. So the right is now going to shift downwards. Otherwise, it means that it is at the other side of the array. So in this case, we are going to also return the same thing. So I'm going to copy this and paste as well. But this time, what's going to move should be the left. So the left now is going to be mid plus one, mid plus one, and the right will remain the same. Okay. So the right is going to remain the same. So this is basically how the iterative form of the um, a binary search works. So I'm going to run it now. I'm going to call binary search. I'm going to say int result is equal to bs1, bs1, and pass it the array a and give it left of zero and right of a dot lines. A dot lines, uh, it's going to be minus one. Okay. So why do we have this? Okay, perfect. So why do we have this? So this, so this is not int, so it's going to be boolean. Okay, so this is what we have here. Okay. Okay, so we have to pass in a key as well. So let's say a key of seven we are passing in. Okay. So if I print out this result using system.out, system.out.println, and I print out the result, and let's see what the result is going to be. So I'm going to run this code and it says true. You can see true printed out here. But if we pass in something else, let's say we pass in 28 and we run the code, you can see it says false because it's not there. Let's now convert this to iterative. So let me not delete uh, this one. Let me simply convert it to an iterative one. So let me just copy this and paste. Copy this and paste here. And I'm going to call this one iterative. It follows about the same logic. But in this case, we are going to use a while loop instead of using recursion. So I'm going to come here and I'm actually going to delete all of this. So this first line remains and this time we are going to simply initialize meet. So I'm going to use a while loop to check while left is less than or equal to right. We are going to continue iterating. And here we are going to now calculate the meet just like we did before. Meet is equal to left plus right, uh, left plus right divided by two. Okay, uh, so yeah, so this is left plus right over two. So we are now going to use the same if statement. So if, actually I'm going to just copy this and paste. So if the item at the midpoint is a key, we simply return. So let me paste it right here. So I'm going to use else. So else if the item at the midpoint, ARR mid, is less than, I think is about the same thing we wrote before, sorry, if the key is less than the item at the midpoint, then what do we do? We are going to now increment the left, as well. uh, we are going to now increment, uh, uh, we are going to leave the left the way it is and uh, reduce the right, because we are now going to move the right downward. So I'm going to move right, downwards, the right is now going to be mid uh, minus one, okay? So finally, I'm, go I'm going to do an else here, else, uh, else is going to be left is equal to mid plus one, okay? Okay, so this is basically it, and if it exits this while loop and it doesn't find it, we are simply going to return false. 
So this is basically how it works. So if I call BS tool this time, you're, you're going to see that it's going to also work just as well. So I'm going to run this code and you can see it says false. And if I pass in, let's say something that we know that is there, uh, it's going to return true because it's there. So this is basically the two ways to, to write binary uh, search algorithm or to implement binary search algorithm. So I'm going to be stopping here. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. If you have some algorithm you would like me to crack, please leave it for me in the comment box below. I remain kind on the tech broke and I'm always there for you.